Hello, ladies and gents. I'm Cat Girl Gamer, and I'm back with more Orwell. Time to get deep into the web and investigate what happens. Last time we had not one but two explosions destroying different areas of the city. Our suspect apparently is maybe connected but not responsible for at least the, the second explosion. So let's jump right on in to find out what the heck is going on. Episode 2, A Place Where There Is No Darkness. Interesting. Ding ding ding, welcome back. I hope you don't mind if we just if we get started right away, we have tons of work ahead of us. You go, Sims. I met with my superiors and they wish to continue with the test case. They believe in the capability of Orwell to handle this. Oh, and you, of course. My superiors agree with me. Based on the information you have already extracted, the activist group known as Thought is worth investigating. It seems that this Goldfells is an important member of Thought, so now uh, we now have clearance to consider him, them a as a target person. So Godfells, Gold Goldfells, and now that Goldfells is a target person, there may be new data chunks available in documents you have already accessed. Don't forget to go back and recheck your sources. Fantastic. So here we are. Uh, new gold fells. I believe he had a, a, a thing here. Thought. Oops. I actually want to go here. Overview. Uh, can I click on him? Can I click on this? No. No. Here we are. We'll drag this as his profile picture. Last login was 2016. It's 2017. He hasn't logged in for a while. And he's the master, the administrator here. If liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. George Orwell. George Orwell? That's the name of this program thing. That we're... Okay, interesting. Let's pop over to the headlines. Connection between Bonson bombings evidence. Uh, let's see. The students and teachers alike are in shock and deep mourning. The bombing that occurred yesterday at Stelgen University seems to be connected to the attack against the Freedom Plaza earlier this week. This is the conclusion of the police division who is investigating the cases. Both assaults a similar explosive device created with pure male malevolence. Wow, appeared to have been used, police spokeswoman Steele said. The letters received prior to the assaults seem to support the suspicion, while their meaning is still puzzling to investigate. So what the, what's the letters? I want to know the letters. Ted, can we see those? Uh, are thoughts still free? Uh, dear reader, there is a German folk song called Thoughts Are Free. It goes like this. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, when I was still young, long before I immigrated to the nation in 1993. Ah, alright. An immigrant. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. When I think of the increasingly aggressive ac operations of the surveillance machinery in the nation, I truly fear the answer to this question. That is why I created this blog. I want to encourage alternatives to the total control and safety bigotry of this digital world. Okay, created a blog. Now this is, he called, he called this a blog. Yeah, the thought, an activist group with the same name as this blog? If Godfells is the one who created the blog, perhaps he founded or even was the leader of the activist group. I'm gonna guess he since he hasn't logged in since 2016, I don't think he's part of the activist group. I think whoever was part of his blog started an activist group. 
Like one of those things, stuff got out of hand because love. Do they want me to put that song lyric in there? It kind of seems redundant if we already know he's German. Ah, one related document found. The letter. We are right, it seems. The letter? What is the letter? Where's the letter? 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 Where? Letter? Thoughts must change direction. Ooh, I gotta listen. Uh, I thoroughly believed we were able to capture minds. If only we could garner the attention on thought as a group and what we stand for. It seems my ambition was once again too much. After one and a half years recruiting two of my students and arranging three demonstrations, like the one held at Freedom Plaza, I feel obliged to ask myself where we stand. Have we reached our goal? What has been sacrificed along the way? In short, we were true to the initial goal that formed the group. Are we true? Frankly and sadly, the answer to the, la to the latter is a resounding no. We let ourselves be consumed by anger and hatred to those we thought to do us wrong. Huh. I now see my high aims might well be the cause for all the events of the past months. Many, uh, more than anyone else of thought, I feel responsible. As a consequence, I will halt my active engagement in this group. I firmly believe it shall be for the better of everyone involved, especially my students, from stelling it. Okay, so he stopped being part of this, and he was also, whatever active engagement means, still an interesting fact, and he also had, he was a, a teacher there at the university that got bombed the second time around. What now, Stelligan? <laughs> the same Stelligan where the bomb just exploded? Do you know what I think about coincidences? I won't repeat it. He doesn't like that uh, from the last episode. Okay, so he was... He recruited two students and held demonstrations. Three demonstrations. More interesting might be what that two students seem to be involved. So far, the evidence suggests that Godfells was a prominent lecturer at Stelling... Stellingen? Well, wow, that's hard to say. And some of his students became involved in thought. Did he, like, recruit them for his cause? We need to identify those students, see who else is involved with the group. Sounds good. Now this one you put in... He reacts with hatred and anger about the troubled past. But no, he did... I don't think so. He feels responsible for troubled past. So I'm gonna say he feels responsible, but I don't think he's angry about it. I think he's referring to the the people that were behaved badly. The troubled past. We will have to get to the bottom of this. We got the listener going on. Oh, hey! Joseph! Hey, you! I'm sorry about last night. I really should have come over. No, I don't think you should have come over. <laughs> oh, police came over. It's just that this client is massively influential and could bring a whole lot of exposure to the office. I've been trying to get a meeting for months and it went rather well, so here's hoping. God, I'm such a stupid old man who talks about his job too much. I'm sorry, it's just such a big part of my life. Hello? Are you still upset? No, she's arrested. <laughs> Cassie, can you at least answer me. If you don't, I'll start to worry. You know what I'm like. You better start worrying, son, because she's in jail. Let's go over here. Uh, ooh, memorial. Ah. Uh, you need a main cage. Okay, so, we know this guy is from this university, so we need to find out which one he actually did. It's best public dining hall? Uh, no, we don't care about that. Uh, alumni? Uh, 
Orlando Ford, Catherine, Catherine Delacroix. Isn't she part of the office of that, that party thing? Ah, Yosef, small town. Okay. Uh, maybe look at courses? Media ethics. This course is currently unavailable due to Professor... He retired? Okay, we have a full name. Abraham Godfells. Gladly accepted the offer. Abraham it is. Well done. Uh, media ethics. From which he sadly retired in fall. So he retired in 2016 and then stopped running Thought in 2016. That's interesting. Did you notice the bombing locations seem to be closely connected to Thought members? There could be a pattern emerging. Merging. Thought has held three demonstrations, yet there have only been two bombing. Which may imply... Well, it's definitely a shot in the dark, but we absolutely need to do everything we can to prevent another attack. Take a close look at the past of each member with Thought. Find out the locations of all the demos they have held. That might yield a hint. Oh my gosh. That's that some stunning. Okay, uh has held a position as a journalist. One of the most renowned German daily newspapers, and also a chairman of Global Media Ethics Congress. That's interesting. Get a little pass, maybe unlock a little something something. Okay. Member of an ethical congress. Just the average run-of-the-mill terrorist traits. <laughs> oh, stop. Uh, thoughts are free. A modern-time declaration of independence towards mass surveillance. It's a book in 2014. Well, what do you say to that? He literally wrote the book. Oh, ha, ha. Well, that's a whole lot of information about this Godfells, yet only one other page could be indexed. Very strange indeed. I think the next course of action should be to look for our other people of this thought group, like the students he mentioned. Okay. Attendee list. Oh! Okay. So if we look back into the semesters, we might be able to find out who attended his classes, and then combine that who we think were combined. Uh, are part of this thought group. So he's retired in 2016. So let's start in summer 2015. Media. Oh. Uh, nothing here. Go to previous step. Uh, previous step. Okay. Winter semester then. Media. There we go. Lecturer. Okay. Colin Jeff, Lauren Kraft, Johnny Diaz, Ernest Martinez, Crystal Peterson, Bonnie Richard, Gary Moses Shield, Blanca Warner, Cassandra was one of them. I see. Okay, well, I see a list of people, but nothing's highlighting. Pretty sure. If I go to summer semester, it's not going to be there, because he supposedly... Oh wait, no. I have been corrected. Oh, because he, he retired in the, the winter semester. Got you. Anybody that pokes out here? Brian, Sandra, Monty, Brandon, Daryl, Willie, Stella, Dorothy, Stacy, Eugene, Juliet. Juliet! Ah, I remember her from previous. She's the one that uh, was saved by Cassandra. We have seen this name before, haven't we? Right, she was a friend of Miss Watergate. Now it also appears that she was a student of Abraham Godfell. I think that's enough to warrant a report. Give me... We've got dots. Alright, we have authorization to investigate Miss Carrington. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, yeah, so, uh, if I remember correctly from the previous day, Cassandra here saved Juliet by bludgeoning 
a police officer over the head with I don't know what, but she hit him pretty hard. Um, and that's why she's being rearrested. So now we have to go find more about her. Okay. Now I think, oh, we already got her timeline. Beautiful. Here we go. Picture. ER assistant. Fantastic. February 1992. Place of residence is Fairview. Um, she likes guitar singing. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but it certainly doesn't look like she's interested in, in much anything else. Let's see, ha, huh, you can add, you actually can dance, and I got proof now. They look like they were big friends. Look at that. I'm just gonna scroll right through here until something highlights. So I don't wanna have to read through all of this. That'd be boring. Here we go. You know I'm not so keen on going out late night. Uh, I don't know how that's pertinent for me. Alright, you win. I'll be there in half an hour. That torture and cruelty be my friend. Yeah, I know there were friends on at it for the sake of connection. Torture? Is that correct? What? Wow. <laughs> so the underlines her assessment is potentially dangerous from yesterday. <laughs> um. Did that really put that in there? Engaged in torture? <laughs> I just didn't tell you didn't read that. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. We are the Carringtons. Welcome to our website. Alright, so we've got April Carrington. May. Whoa, May. Looking that extra special, but I love your kitty hat. Oh, June Carrington. Aw, oh, girl after my own heart working at IT. Love it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Full birthday. Very good. We don't need all this other information. The parents of Jonathan and Esther. She decided to end her band career? Her studies in media... Okay, so she was not a band. And... Did, yeah, we knew this, but we'll go ahead and add that on there. She used to be in a band. It's an unknown data chunk. Timeline. So she used to be in a band. What band was she in? Even though Cassandra and I just got to know each other at the protest at Freedom Pro. Okay. She stood up for me regardless. Okay. Interesting. Uh, how come you are so much... You care so much about politics now? I'm not surprised you stand up for your beliefs underneath your... A strong one. But activism? Attending demonstrations? Is that still you? Said, I'm so proud of you that you're capable of being cool. Okay. She's part of Rosin Tech, so let's see what happens. Message from the founder. Blah. Hi, guy. Uh. Touch. Oh, here we go. We can actually confirm that she's here. Ah! We have a telephony. We has telephony. Ooh, can we listen in on your telephony calls? Good work. The listener will also track incoming and outgoing telephone calls and numbers you have added. Ding ding. Incoming call. 
Oh, hey, cool. Active. Do you actually get to hear the call? That would be awesome. Ah, uh, welcome to Rosin Tech. This is a PR. This is PR assistant Juliet Carrington speaking. How may I be of sir? Hello, Juliet Carrington. This is Esther. You sound so official at work. Oh, uh, hi, mom. Is this important? You know, I can't take personal calls while I'm at work. I just wanted to check in, make sure you were home for dinner tonight. Actually, I'm heading out with some friends from work, some from Bonton Clubbing. No time for some Bonton. Honey, please don't. On the news, they said it would be advisable to avoid public places. They expect another bombing. Mom, I get that you're worried, but I can't just sit at home with you every night of the week. That's exactly what those terrorists want us to do. Avoid public life. We can't give up our freedom like that. This is going very quickly. Honey, please. <laughs> you don't have much freedom left if you're dead. Mom, I won't die. How can you be so sure about that? I could e easily be hit by a car on my way home to your lovely dinner. Don't say that. Just think, this ridiculous group has gotten you into nothing but trouble. What do they call it? All right, jeez, Mom. I I'm going to think about it, okay? Thank you, honey. Mom, I'm sorry. I really have to go now. If I don't want Victor Rosin to personally fire me. Victor Rosin. Profile, Carrington. Employee. That's his boss, but eh. Okay, so let me scroll down and pick up some of these highlighted bits. Actually, I'm heading out with some friends from work. Be home. Okay, so she lives with her parents. Now to find her parents' address. Yes, yes. Okay, let me let me go back to the reader. Bing. Our family. In the house. Okay, that's a little closer. Can we get a full address, perhaps? That's right around the corner from where I live. <laughs> How lovely. Okay. The end. So that's it. Okay. Yoink. John and Esther. Such welcome family. We'll get back into the Rosin Tech stuff. Commandments. Care. Just clearing out store. Okay. Then we have media. Do -do 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 -do. Oh. Yeah, see, I didn't think his, his stuff would be. All the information here. I oh, guess not. What else do you want from me here? Goodness. Headlines. I'm just gonna clear out the stars because goodness. Darn. Hey. Yeah, we get it. Going. Oi. What else now? Oh, they're talking about the Cassandra's arrest. Okay. Alumni. They're still wanting me to find something here, and I'm like, what do you want from me? We already know about this here. Harris. Oh! Is Harrison part of this? Harrison O'Donnell guest at Target Pearson's. Oh, uh, 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 uh. This. Okay. Harrison O'Donnell, yes, we've seen that name connected to Miss Watergate. I'll report this right away. Da da da. We have been authorized to consider Harrison O'Donnell a target person. Now there's some more work for you. Congrats! 
Thee, thanks. Harrison and Juliet. Those must be Abraham Godfell's students within thought. Well done. Okay, who is this Harrison guy? Uh, oh, hey. Is this timeline? Oh, fantastic. Hipster attire. Spiky. <laughs> Just got out of bed, look. Big old earring and a pierced Classic. Media punk. No birthday. Doesn't like personal information. This post has been deleted by the user. Also deleted by the user. Wow, he's deleting a lot of his posts. What's up? she left a band to go work on her studies and it said she was single so I'm guessing these guys broke off why don't you go and ask Juliet out right away huh no need for hiding anything I could provide a nose correction just for you to make you look just as awesome Wow okay yeah, see, okay, so let me go to hers and go here because she's decided to end her career, uh, her band career. Ah, this brought up the band. Okay, the band. Ah, hang on. Pull this. You're on vocals and guitar, son. That's interesting. Oh, that's quite an ego we got there, haven't we? Yeah. No kidding. Okay. So. Ah. New portraits. Tubman. Here we go. Let me do this. Just one second. Whoa, what the do sickles? That is not what I wanted. Let's go back over here. Juliet. We know that we have an alias name. Tubman. Neat. Let me finish <laughs> poking around the band page here. Drop hand cockle. Ooh, hey, here we go. Hey, we got ourselves a, an email. Here we go. Excellent. You will now have access to any emails coming in or out of this account. Huzzah! Uh, email! Let's see, thank you for shopping at uh, Flowers. We confirm your order of law for the tag to Angela. Ooh, I got your bank account. Please do not ever give out your bank account information while you're shopping online. <laughs> Unless it's a secured account, and you know exactly who you're giving it to. Otherwise, us little hacky hackers can do this! Get your bank account. I was just pointing to the screen as if you could see me. Ha uh ha. -huh. Let's see here. Ah, here's the bank account. Welcome to FBTN Online, Mr. O'Donnell. Let's see, the People's Drugs and Pharma. People's Drugs and Pharma, a couple of these later. Life trust health insurance. Two in the same day. National Beholder Publishing Incorporated. People's Drugs Pharma again. People's Drugs Pharma again. Whoa. Yes, two health Can I click this to find out? Because sometimes you can do that, but I guess not. Two health insurances? That's interesting. Guy his age, planning on doing something dangerous, perhaps? I don't know, but he's going to the pharmacy quite a bit. Is he aiming for somebody's medication? Either he values his hygiene, or it might as well be material intended to wash away a freedom memorial. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. They're not very big payments. So either it's like convenience and close by. Payment 
hiding from the National Beholder. It sounds like some sort of secret affiliation. Keep looking for more info. No, the National Beholder is, uh, is the newspaper, isn't it? I said there's more here. I don't see more being... He's got a nice sizable balance. That's that's fine. Seem to be more there. Okay. Thought looks messed up. Whoa! What the heat? What the actual? The moment you open that dock, malicious code inject injection was detected in Orwell. We had 47 attack warnings and still counting. What the heck is on that site? Jam into the thing though. Yeah, I like this tune. It's so retro. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a wild guess. All of them pop up like that. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, kudos to the hackers that destroyed that site. That was a jam. Uh, okay. Mail. Here we go. Security warning. Unrecognized operating system. Browser location. Yeah, whatever. Uh, oh, hey. Cassandra, hello. Juliet. Hey, Cass, what happened yesterday? Uh, she got arrested. That's what happened. <laughs> this is. Oh, this is Joseph. Cassandra's account. Okay. If Yosef has. Oh, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Boink. If Yosef has access, that might be important. No, but it might lead me to something else. Sorry, I can totally read that. Okay. Oh, sorry. Hi, Joseph. Didn't know you had access to Cassie's account. Nice to finally talk to you. You too. Juliet, have you seen Cassandra since yesterday evening? Heard from her at all? I spoke to her last night via chat. She seemed quite upset about the whole Freedom Plaza thing and something else she wouldn't talk about. Then there was something at her door. She went to answer it and never came back. I assumed it was you. We were supposed to meet for dinner, but I had an unexpected meeting with a client. She wasn't exactly happy about the change of plans. She quit the chat and that was it. I haven't heard from her since. In that case, I think she's probably at home, stewing away. Well, I just tried that, but she she did give me the key to her flat two months ago, but no Cassie. Also, her PC was still on. I guess, I guess calling her didn't work either. Tried, no answer. I hate myself right now. Uh, did you set your number to private? Otherwise, she's probably just avoiding it. Private is my default setting. After all, I'm a lawyer. Okay, Cassandra's not a lawyer. Why would that even highlight like that? That's weird. Uh, Cassie told me you were funny. I think you shouldn't worry too much. It's probably nothing. When Cassie's mad, she usually ghosts and wanders around the city. She'll be back in no time. Yeah, she does get a bit fiery at times. We had an argument once, and well, guess what happened? See, this is why I wanted to talk to you. I feel like sometimes you know her better than I do, and I'm her freaking boyfriend. Oh, I doubt that somehow. I mean, you two were in this thought group together, right? You both went to the Freedom Pro Plaza protest. And so I thought maybe you'd know other places that could be important for her, or the two of you, where she could be at. I'm sorry, the Freedom Plaza was organized by thought, yeah, but Harrison did all the planning for it. I don't know much else, so I see. Wish I could help, but honestly don't have a clue. But thank you anyway. Don't mention- Wait. We're having a conflict. See, okay, this is one thing I have to question this game for. How can you have a conflict on information that you don't know yet? <laughs> there's a conflict with one unknown data chunk. Uh, how do you know there's a conflict if there's a data chunk I don't know about? Anyway. Uh, go back to gigs, I guess. Is there something? Oh, look, there's arrows. Here we go. We don't need that new portrait. Ooh, I will definitely come to Freedom Plaza demo. I just have to go to get get to know Juliet. 
especially since she is the one organizing it. Huh. Okay, so Cassarthus is Cassie. Cassie says that Juliet is the one that planned it. But according to Juliet's conversation, Harrison planned. Huh. Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> That's real interesting. So who do you believe? Ah, uh, this is so interesting. So... Maybe Cassie didn't know who actually planned it, but Juliet did, because Cassie didn't really meet Juliet until she went there. I'm gonna guess that it was Harrison that did it, and this is just a wild. This is just a just a guess, because really there is not a lot of information pointing one way or the other. You planned this protest that went completely awry. It doesn't sound like a very good planning to me. Or maybe it didn't go awry at all. Maybe it went down exactly as it, he had in mind. Yeah, it's, stop. So that Freedom Plaza demonstration was one of Thought's protests. Not immensely surprising. One down, two more protest locations to go. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Ooh, telephone. Yes. Hello. Ring, ring. You got O'Donnell and Harrison, it's me. Well, 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 look who it is. I knew this moment would come one day, but you caught me by surprise. Harrison, shh, Juliet, ever since we first made out in that clear night on the Stelligan Greenfield, I knew it was destiny. I know you never really meant to. Will you please spare me your juvenile BS? <laughs> I didn't believe it at first, but it really is you. To what do I owe the pleasure of your beautiful voice? You miss me, right? So this is why you did it? To make me call you back again? The heck you talking about? Oh come on, don't play dumb, great administrator. I'm talking about the thought page you so generously volunteered to maintain. What? Give me a sec. What the? <laughs> Much cussing. You messing around with me, Jules? Are you seriously trying to say this wasn't your doing? Why would I want to do a disgraced thought? Maybe because of the same reason you bailed out of thought all of a sudden? You didn't do anything anymore since Abe disappeared. But turning it around that way made a fine excuse for you to bail the two of us. Maybe then, because you disgraced thought before by hiding all of the articles on thought blog except Cassandra's, Abe archived the first ones because he didn't even want us to know. None of us could ever access them. I merely did the same with the rest because that would also be in Abe's interest, and Cassie wanted to show her article around. Oh, please. I know you deleted all your rebellious posts to secure your cozy job writing that ridiculous opinion column for TNB. You know, it's funny you dare speaking of disgrace when Rosen is the government's personal biatch case. <laughs> case you didn't know almost makes you the same in my book. So you really don't know anything about the hack then. I have no freaking clue. Can you revert the changes? You bet. I'll even hunt down the guy who would just revert it, okay? I don't care who did it. I just can't stand our memories being toyed around with. Okay, okay. We'll be done in no time, ma'am. Never could say no to you. If only. Anyway, thank you. Ooh, a lot of data chunks over here. Okay, scroll down. Uh... Yeah, we don't care about the intimacy, so we don't need to go there. You bailed out of thought? Thought didn't do anything more since... Uh, but turning it around that way made a fine excuse for you to bail out on the two of us, huh? Okay. So, yeah. 
go over to Juliet. Blue. Uh, seems today's new targets have a common history, something more than, than belonging to thought. Bailed out of thought. Oh, is that so? We still need to keep observing him, though. So, Abe disappeared. <laughs> Abraham Godfels disappeared, causing the group to be inactive? They are no longer active? Well, it seems like someone still is. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, yeah, we, we do want that. This gets more confusing by the minute. Why do you hide something on a group's blog from its own members? Hidden agenda, perhaps? Yeah, dude, what's up? He disappears, he, he retires in 2016, then disappears in 2016. And starts, like, hiding all of the stuff on his old blog. That's bizarre. Okay, so... Now we know that he has a job at TNB. Hey, I read this one quite regularly. I wasn't at all aware it was our guy. And TNB probably didn't know either. Also, this must be what the large payment he received was for. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go back. I see you. Knock knock, Harrison. Ooh. Seems I caught you pants down on that little page of yours. Confused? Well, that's fine. You don't me, and I like to keep it that way, but I know a lot about you, media punk. If you knew what I know, what you know about what this little group of yours did, you would find it just as hard to ignore those that those bombs might just carry your name tag. Get what I'm talking about, right? So the Righteous Hacker Initiate will expose all information I got on you. Might interest the cops, won't it? I have no love for the Gov, but I will do what I must. So give me one good reason not to do it and I might reconsider. Getting a blackmail. What is going on? Oh, great. Now there's a hacker involved in all of this because the situation wasn't bad enough as it is. I wonder what this is about. No kidding. Those bombs might just carry your name tag. Okay. Seems we are not the only ones interested in Mr. O'Donnell and his entanglements and all this. I wonder if this guy has any proof for what he claims. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. More mail. <laughs> this is the most pathetic blackmailing attempt I've read in a long time. You want a good reason not to call the cops? I can give you three. You hacked my site. My web server. Last time I checked, this was highly illegal. Something about glass houses and stones. Two, I don't get what you want to have found out about me. True, our protests didn't, go, didn't always go as planned, but since you claim to know so much about me, you should know that this was hardly my fault. What I wanted is all in my blog. Oh, he has a blog. Not a word about bombing people, only grabbing attention. Bet you never found that, huh? Where are your mad skills, hacker boy? <laughs> Three, I'm the wrong person to mess around with. Leave my bed alone. Roll it back, and then don't dare touch it again. I will get you promised HPS. For your own worthless sake, I hope it wasn't you who broke into my bank account, else you're neck deep. Yeah, okay. Is this, this fixed yet? Nope. <laughs> This episode's running a little long, so I'm gonna leave it here, this really awesome music, and do a, a part two on day two. If you like this, be sure to subscribe, click the bell icon to be notified when a new episode is available for your viewing enjoyment. Thank you for joining me on this mysterious adventure through Orwell. 
and I hope that you join me on another one real soon.